Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, Zwiz here. Um, today we're doing something a little different. Uh, we are going to do a VOD review of one of my Wild Rift games. Um, I've been playing Wild Rift for a long time, casually, but uh, this season I've really been, been grinding and enjoying Ranked. Um, so we're going to watch uh, one of my games that I played as uh, Lucian. I recently, this season, uh, Ranked season, I switched to AD Carry. Um, I used to play a lot of Jungle and uh, it's just very hard to carry at this rank, I think. Um, I like to play more tanky engaged jungles uh, to help the team, but then if my AD carry goes 0-10, uh, we have no chance of winning. And then when I play a carry jungler, our team has no front line because our top will probably be some some melee champ instead of a, a bruiser um, like Camille or something. So anyways, yeah, so I've been really enjoying uh, AD carry. I've been playing mainly misfortune but been having a lot of struggles with her lately so I switched over to Lucian um, and still getting used to him as you'll see in this game uh, he's uh, he's a lot of fun though because I'm naturally a pretty aggressive player and with his dash and just quick movement uh, I think you can play play pretty aggressively and as long as you uh, can get yourself out it's yeah it's uh, it's tricky though so as you can see here, that was a, I don't know if that flash was necessary, but uh, I had a um, a Trendemir support, which you don't see every day. So the only, I guess, good thing he did this game is he played very, very aggressive, uh, which helped me kind of just sit behind him and get get free kills. Um, yeah, and so the point of this series is just kind of watch my games back, the good and the bad games, and just see uh, where, where can I improve, what, what was I missing. Um, so for this game... It went pretty well, um, but one thing I'd say even just when you notice there, I never really think about where their jungler is. Um, I think Vi is their jungler this game, and she could have been bot side and I'm pushing tower and she could have came behind me. We don't have, we have two wards in that, in that bush there, but nothing really deep in their jungle. So that's one thing I want to improve on is making sure I'm kind of cautious about where the enemy jungler is and maybe try and get some more deep wards. Problem is at this rank, supports are not going to go get good vision like that. As you can see, they kind of just play whatever they want, run around the map. So, kind of got to rely on myself there to make sure that I, I'm safe to push and, and be aggressive and, and push lane. So, um, this Lux was not very good. She ended up having a lot of kills, but uh, I don't know what she was doing there. So, like I said, I feel pretty confident playing aggressive, but I probably should be a little more passive. Yeah, I do get a... I don't know if that's a good word or not. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to get some vision in case Vi tries to come around that corner. Um, yeah, this was, this was a deep chase for sure, but uh, yeah, one good thing about this rank is you don't really get punished too much. Like, normally you might think that mid and jungle are going to collapse, but um, nope, we are just fine. So... Here we are playing in between the turrets. I was trying to avoid getting a uh, tower aggro, wait till the minions got there. I'm not sure why I did this. I could have just gone around and saved 75% of my health, but uh, oh well. One thing I have been doing better the last few games is uh, looking at the minimap. And uh, a cool feature in Wild Rift is if you can see a Yasuo in mid there, he's kind of got a light blue, small, you know, line around his uh, his icon there so you can actually look at people's health on the minimap which has been super helpful the last few games just to know when uh, enemies are low or when my teammates are low and kind of see how a fight's going without needing to always pan to it um, that way I know if I can jump in and try and get some kills or if I need to back off if we're really getting beat bad so this was an early ult I don't know if it was good um, but I don't know what they're doing oh yeah I remember this <laughs> yeah that was kind of a bad play I didn't again like I said I never really think about the jungler so I thought it was a easy kill on the Tristana there and uh, I, I pinged some attack things because I don't know what Trendemir was doing even though I was kind of running it I feel like he could have followed me and maybe got a kill or two but he decided to um, to kill some minions instead so and I don't really know I didn't pay attention too much how the other lanes were doing I think Yasuo yeah oh there I checked in I think Yasuo did pretty good this lane I think top lane was just kind of a wash so um, it was really on how bot lane was going and yeah we did pretty good um, right there I know that Vi's, Vi's down here so I'm play pretty passive I wasn't a fan of my uh, Evelyn either I think there was a couple times when she ganked later on and 
she wasn't very helpful. Like right now, what is she doing? Why is she <laughs> why is she not going in? They're both targeting me and she could, you know, help me chunk them down, but uh I don't know, yeah. Anyways, here I should definitely just back off. I think I, I don't know if I do or go back in. Maybe I ult here. Yeah, okay. And we Oh yeah, I think the Lux kills me, yeah. <laughs> so like I said, I'm a little probably too aggressive, but uh that's alright, I'm still learning. Like I said, I went from playing uh, engaged junglers and kind of frontline, and I played some top two playing AD carry, so I still got to get used to I can't just be the frontline in a fight. I have to kind of play back, and you know I need to have some uptime and survive. So that's that's been an adjustment. So you will see me be probably a little too aggressive a lot of times. So the one big advantage I think in Wild Rift is uh, people don't focus on gold too much, like uh, catching minion waves and you can really, even if you're down in kills, um, I found some games where I'm a couple thousand gold ahead of my you know, opponent just because they're just getting kills but they're not actually getting last hits on minions or anything. The nice thing about Wild Rift, it's for, you know, it's for us people that aren't good enough at League, but you get um, XP, or sorry, gold, even if you're just near a minion that gets killed, you don't have to last hit. You get like, I forgot how much it is, but it's like 20 gold instead of 40, say, for a, for a melee minion. So, so oh, that I forgot. I was like, man, I didn't remember surviving there. So that was a good gank by the jungler, I think. Uh, wish I could have lived there. I was looking to see if the vamp scepter, I should have. I was like, man, if I kept hitting the minions, was I going to get enough health back to survive that E from, uh, from Tristana? But... So here's the Yasuo playing pretty good mid. 1v2 in here. 12 to 10. So yeah, it's a pretty close game. Um, no turrets down yet. I think they got... Yeah, they got the first dragon. Gold's pretty even. I just missed there. I didn't see. Let me go back real quick. Oh, okay. Uh, ignore me. I just wanted to see... Uh, Sorry, I wanted to see how many kills Tristana had. I guess I can't press the arrow button. Um, sorry, we, we jumped back a little bit, but I just wanted to see. Okay, so we're pretty even in gold. She's actually a little bit ahead of me. and I got one more kill, but she's got three assists. So so far, bottom lane's just been kind of, you know, a mess. Uh, we just keep running at each other and killing each other. Um, so, not the cleanest, but I actually like lanes like this, where it's not just really slow and and boring. I just like I like engaging and fighting, so And if you're watching and uh, see how bad I'm playing and have some tips for me, please let me know. Because I would love to get better at this game, so Again I feel pretty comfortable playing aggressive here because for one it's it's luck support. Um, but I know Evelyn's there. Here here's a moment where I think no, maybe she does. I know there's some times where, like I said, the Evelyn is just kind of not really... Like right now, what is she doing? Why is she not going in? She just really doesn't want to die. Oh, wait, we already saw this death. <laughs> Man, I went way back, sorry. Uh, yeah. I wish she would have been a little more aggressive there. I know she doesn't want to die, but I think if she just... I mean, she just does so much, you know, burst damage that I think that we could have easily killed Tristana without either of us dying, so... Yeah, sorry I didn't realize I was back too far and we saw the Yasuo 1v2 again in mid. It's a hell of a thing. So like I said, the, the only bad part about this game was my Trindamir was just, yeah, owned 5. Absolutely just would run in every time and try and kill them. Oh, and 6 now. So when I saw that when we first loaded up, I knew I was going to have to kind of play, you know, just really hopefully get ahead because I wasn't going to have the support to help me out. I don't remember what I was doing here. I knew that I was just worried about Vi being bot side, and I think I didn't want to show in case they all in on me. Um, but I also wanted to get some XP and gold from that wave, so... Some yeah, I was thinking about ulting there because if they were going to jump in on me, I wanted to kill the wave. So, uh, and I flashed the early there, but like I said, I was just pretty worried about them going all in on me. And I was actually very surprised that I dodged the, uh, the Lux ult there. That's one thing I never really focused on before, like maybe the last month is actually you know it used to be so overwhelming to try and dodge skills but um, I found that if you really are focused and paying attention you can dodge you know some stuff like that like just easy sidestep so I don't know what she's doing here like I said she she got quite a bit of kills but and <laughs> uh, she's just playing horrible just really feeding me 
And there, sometimes it's really hard to do target selection. That's something I need to work on. If you can see the little icon above my spells of Tristana, so that's one way you can tap that and start targeting, which is nice. You can also drag the attack onto a champion. Um, but sometimes I struggle to, to actually hit the target I want to because, you know, obviously you can't click on the screen on who you want to attack. You have to either drag or tap that button. But target selection can really help in a fight, you know, if someone's low, and just instead of just shooting the first person closest to you, you can actually target. I think I kill her here. I don't know if I needed to exhaust because I was... That's something I should probably just hold on to because um, I think I was going to kill her no matter what. She really isn't doing near as much damage as I am. So... And uh, one spell I thought about switching out to, or summoner spell, is um, Cleanse instead of Exhaust. Because uh, the Exhaust is nice, but um, I'm not sure. I know like in Professional League they use Cleanse a lot because if you get you know hit with some, some spell, it would be nice to get out. But the Exhaust is nice if someone gets on you or if you're 1v1-ing, and just to limit their, their speed and their damage. So I'll probably stick with it for now, but down the road it might be nice to have Cleanse as I get into higher ranks. And this is gold one, by the way, I believe. So trying to get up, up the rank. Now here I was seeing... I don't. I was hoping that he did a little more damage and survived a little longer. I was thinking we could get a couple kills, and then I realized maybe if someone come here I could I could pick them off, but I was like, oh, let's just back off. So I, had, I was sitting on a lot of gold, and, you know, if I showed, they probably would collapse on me and kill me, so... And I think at this point I had a pretty good shutdown. Okay, I think we get a kill here. Again, this Lux, I don't know what she is doing. In this buy, like... Some other games I wish I, I could have recorded, because unfortunately when Wild Rift updates, you can't watch any games again, and I didn't record them live. But, uh, this is not how all my games go. Sometimes there's some really good people in the game. Um, and for the, some reason, they were just absolutely terrible, which was a, a nice, easy win. Um, yeah, it stinks. I thought... Big thing, that was a big bot wave. I don't know if I should have, instead of back, just try and get there fast to get some of the minions, because I think they're all all dead by the time I get there, which was a lot of gold. Yeah. Um, oh, well. So with the nine kills, I mean, I'm pretty far ahead. I feel pretty comfortable. Uh, also, I, I think there's... Not anybody on their team that can one v one me right now, so I felt pretty safe pushing up this uh, pushing up this side lane until I see I saw Garen leave mid. I knew he was coming for me, so I'm just gonna back off in case they collapse. Yeah, see, there's Ari. Ari, sorry. And then yep, Garen shows there soon. So, um, and that's one advantage I think I have too is macro at this level is horrible. People don't understand pushing side lanes and when to when to push. They'll just keep grouping mid, kind of killing. So. Even if you're not as skilled as some of these players, but you're just playing the map better, you can win. I've won a couple games just simply by playing the map better than the enemy team, even though we were down by, you know, 15 kills or whatever. But, but this game we were up in kills and winning in the macro, so it was a... Like I said, I felt pretty comfortable this game. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing crazy damage right now. That was... That was a lot. So, pretty straight forward game from here on out, I think I die a few more times just because I think just getting cocky and knowing the game's going to be over. But this time's like this, I mean, we got two kills. I don't know why we're not pushing for mid turret. We could easily get it as a team, you know, so um, instead of farming their camps, I think we should just, you know, back off after, but I know they're not going to be able to threaten the three of us if we push this turret, so. But I get it halfway down, and I think I back off because I see, yeah. See three of them mid. I was worried that if I had ult there. I was kind of lucky that she didn't. Um, and that's where I'm saying something like that. If she did ult me and I had cleanse, I could I could still survive pretty easily. So. Bad dash. I think I came over here to catch yeah top wave. Just well top wave. This game is confusing. It's really nice, but they they flip the map. So top and bot. It's not really the same as it is in normal league, but. Um, yeah. But I'll probably still call them top and bot based on what side I'm playing on. Some pretty good damage there, I mean. I really like Lucian. He's super fun. Like I said, he, he's an aggressive AD carry, which is the kind of style I play. Um, I used to play a lot of Jinx too, but she really is just... 
she's just so weak early on, and um, you just have to scale for so long. But I like skirmishing in lane. One other champion I want to start playing too, which is pretty strong right now in Wild Rift, is uh, Caitlyn. I don't have enough, um, whatever you call it, blue. I don't have enough to buy her, but when I do, I really want to try her out because she is apparently very good right now too. And it'd just be fun to be able to have two champions to play off. So here I was seeing, I didn't know my Q couldn't reach, so and my auto attack. So that was kind of, uh, that was embarrassing looking, but... And I think I go back and get that Infinity Edge. Um, one thing I don't really do too much either, but it's kind of nice, is uh, in Wild Rift, you can just... They have the top three players that play Lucian, for example, and you can just copy their item build into yours for in-game, so you don't have to think about it. If I am getting, you know, if there's a lot of ma magic damage and I'm, or, or a lot of armor and I need to get armor pin... I will do that, but for the most part, it's kind of nice to just, you know, I'm getting a bunch of damage items, I don't have to think about it too much, um, but I do switch up my items sometimes in scenarios, but most of the time I just stick to the, the pro builds that I get, so. And obviously it's going well this game, so. Yeah, I'm just doing crazy damage. I feel like I could have canceled my ult there to get a kill, but <laughs> that failed jump by uh, Tristana. Yeah, I'm probably playing a little too aggressive. I mean, like I said, I don't really know. I know I saw three of them, but they could have been behind me or anything. And um, some some games I get burned for being that aggressive, but I think it's fun and uh, it keeps them back, which is good. It keeps them on their heels. So I think we get a I get a couple kills here. It's a hell of a thing. Uh, yeah, the flash by Tristana. Yeah. I'm just doing so much damage and they're not even targeting me. I just jump right on top of them. I think I get a quadra kill here, so... Yeah. I don't think I needed to flash for that, but, you know, I really wanted to get the Penta. And then, uh... I think I almost got it, but Set might get this. Yeah. Yeah, so... Oh, well. And I don't think we end here, but, uh... But overall, yeah, it's a pretty good game. I don't really have too much comments on my play. I mean... Only three deaths. I had, like I said, I really like to do some games that I play bad and kind of review, and especially some games I play against AD carries that are just way, way better than me. And I kind of want to just see what I saw them doing when I played against them. Um, some of those games might be worthwhile to actually do the the VOD review in the app, so it's not just my POV. Because um, this this game I recorded live, but if I if I watch the replay, I could you know turn off Fog of War and kind of see the enemy team and follow some of them, which might be nice. So. If you guys think that would be cool, let me know. Um, we could do some of that, too. Yeah, yeah, pretty good game. I got 16,000 gold, and Tristana has 10. Not even 10,000, so... Pretty far ahead of, uh... Two items ahead of the enemy to carry. I actually think they end up getting a dragon here, but... I mean, they're so far behind, I think it doesn't even matter. They even got objective bounties enabled, so I felt pretty comfortable with this game even after this. I think that was their I think that was the only second dragon of the game, so it's not like not like anyone's close to soul point or anything like that, so said here's another play where like I'm not really sure where their whole team is but you know if I saw this tower like this on my side I would be pretty worried about it I come here and take it pretty easily I think I may even get the next one so there's just not a lot of good macro in these levels which makes it easier on me um, but I'm excited for kind of when it gets later on and there are really good you know as I rank up just some really good people and the games are actually much more uh, strategic than me just getting to push two turrets for free and then this Ari thinking she can kill me for some reason so, I don't know if I get the... Nope, the Lux gets me, so. And then I forgot, I just bought something, Last Whisperer or something. I'm not sure what item I just bought, but now I think I got... I think I have six items now, but this game's over anyway, so. Yeah, overall, pretty good game. Um, I don't have much to, to review or complain about, but I just kind of wanted to try the style and see how it goes. Uh, I hope it sounded 
All right, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, if you guys play Wild Rifter League and have advice or think I'm trash, uh, let me know in the comments. But uh, yeah, I've been really enjoying this game when I can make time to play it. I got two good uh, reasons for you. And I just want to keep getting better and hopefully grind a few more, a uh, few more ranks before this season's over. So, like I said, overall, pause it here. Overall, pretty good game. We got, yeah, like I said, lead. Led Tristana by 8k gold, which is nice. Hey, I ended up getting my... La oh, it was a Black Cleaver, I think is what that item is, right? Um, oh, five items. Never mind. Isn't there six items in League? I don't know. Is there one less item slot in Wild Rift? I never even noticed. Um, you know, my team was, you know, decent too. The, like, Trendomir, my friend over there, 0-11. Rough, rough game. But the Yasuo, I mean, even the Evelyn, even though she didn't help too much, she was fine. And, uh... Yeah, the set did pretty good up top, so yeah, we really kind of just won in, in every lane, which is a rare one too. Like I said, most times either I'm getting dominated in bot lane or, you know, the mid and, and top lanes are getting getting pushed in, and so it's rare that we have a, a win like this, so it was nice to get a, a good a good free win today, and yeah, like I said, we'll do, we'll do some of these more in the future, so I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, yeah, have a good one.